Welcome back to Afternoon Express. I hope that you're having a fantastic Friday afternoon. Now, we all know that your fridge is supposed to keep food fresh and safe from bacteria, but did you know that your fridge itself also breeds nasty bacteria? Ugh. So every time you open the fridge, you let in air from the outside. This is why fridges have an air filter built in to keep everything fresh and smelling Great, but not all of them do a great job at it. So after extensive research into the issue, LG developed the Hygiene Fresh Plus, which, have a, which has a five-stage filter system that removes most of the nasty stuff from the air inside the fridge. There's nothing worse than a bad-smelling fridge. So this means that 99.99999% of airborne food contaminants are eliminated. So this week, we are running da -dun, da -dun, an incredible competition where you stand a chance to win an LG InstaView door-in-door -door fridge with Hygiene Fresh Plus technology with 34,999 Rand. So simply find the competition post on our Facebook page and let us know which feature do you think sets the LG InstaView fridge apart. So today is your last chance to enter, so make sure that you do it now. T's and C's do apply. This is such an amazing prize. I wish you all of the luck. So find all the T's and C's on Afternoon Express at CEO.ca. Knock twice, see inside. The new LG Multi-Door InstaView. Now, Siam Shlongo has carved out his name in the entertainment industry as an inspirational speaker, author, and radio presenter for the biggest radio station in the country, Ukozi FM. Now, one would never say that he grew up as a child with low self-esteem issues, who was constantly bullied. But after being inspired by world-renowned motivational speaker like, Turkey, like Tony Robbins, he is now empowering other people through various platforms. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to Can be here. Can you believe that you are here? The last time <laughs> I saw you... Yes, yes, yes. You were auditioning yes, for... Yes, blast me. Yes. Well, I was nice. Was that, wasn't I you nice, Judge? You were so judge? nice. You were absolutely, yeah. <clears throat> well, you were fantastic as well. Thank you so but much. But I had to go with Pali. Oh, of course. <laughs> My friend, so I don't mind. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your upbringing, because I know that, that you, you, you had said that you used to struggle with self-esteem issues. Looking at your beautiful face, I think... I'm, I feel so sad for people who do feel like that. Oh, thank you for the so, compliment. <laughs> yeah, and your sister used to come and like beat off the bullies at school. Yes. Tell me about that. So I, I was raised by a single mother. We grew up at a domestic worker's back room. Yeah. So we grew up living in the suburbs. And one of the things that was the first identity crisis for me was not saying where home is because we didn't have home home. Sure, there was the yeah. farm, mom's place, farm, dad's place, but we didn't have home home. And I remember instances when we'd get a lift to go home and one, one day they actually dropped me off and I said, you can drop me off here. It was probably like a kilometer away. And they said, so where's home? My point said, I said, it's somewhere out there. Because I was so ashamed to say that it's not home. I live in a back room. <laughs> Shame, man. And how have you overcome that? Because I think it must be difficult for kids who do, do have those kind of identity issues. Yes, yes. And like uh, issues with self-esteem. First of all, the, the support of my mother and yeah. my sister at school, because my sister's very tough till this day. Really? She doesn't allow me to sob and pity party yeah. till this day. So also, as you had said, Tony Robbins, I don't know if you still remember back okay, in the I day. Okay, I am obsessed with Tony Robbins. He's amazing, right? He's amazing. He's amazing. So there were those tapes, there was that kit. Yeah. And then he had personally coached people like Andre, Andre Agassi. At the time, I was yeah. like 10 years old. I used to watch these infomercials. And then about two years later, I ran into a book in the library that said, Awaken the Giant in You. And I read that book, and the giant awoke. And here yeah. I am. <laughs> what was a single message that you can remember that Tony Robbins shared with you that oh. has really stuck as like your, your fire, your passion, your, your mantra that you keep on like, re like repeating inside your head? Yeah, well, he was reiterating an unknown proverb. It's yeah. not your choice. It's not your fault if you are born in poverty, but it's yeah. your fault if you die in poverty and low self-esteem. Yeah. Yeah. It is. And actually, it's character building, I suppose, if you are born into, into, uh, in, into poverty and then you don't let it break you, but yeah. instead use it to inspire and motivate you to get out of it. Absolutely. So how are you using the tools that you've learned in your life now to inspire others? It's a mentality. It's an attitude. It's surrounding yourself with like-minded people. It's living. It's imparting. Yeah. I love imparting. 
That's yeah. why being in this environment with you guys, I felt like, this is home, can I stay? Yeah, yeah you, of course you can. So I'm already getting inspired myself. So it's things like those that always make me get bits and pieces to yeah. share someone else, somewhere else. I love working with young people. I work a lot with schools. Yeah. And I also train teachers. South Africa has a crisis in our schools. And we actually need something to come and intervene. And mm. no one, Nelson Mandela said, no one is taught to hate. No one is taught to be disruptive. Yeah. It's these external forces that we really need to curb and everyone play a role so that we can make our kids become greater giants and greater sure. people for the future. And you really are such a good example of that because... Thank you. Okay, and now you can forgive me, correct me if this isn't right, but I heard that when you were auditioning for Cozy FM, now Cozy FM is extremely, extremely Zulu. <laughs> you, your Zulu wasn't up to scratch. Why wasn't your Zulu up to scratch, by the way? Listen, so I was born, I, I lived, as I told, in the suburb yeah. because my mother raised us from there. Okay. So I was called a coconut or a Model okay. C. So I was a little bit more detached than other okay, black okay. kids like myself from my blackness. Okay. So I was very, very challenged. Actually, when I got the job, I went and bought four Zulu novels yeah. and four grammar books. And those have like those strong, clicking idioms and proverbs. Can, yeah. I, can I try one? Please do. And tea, try and teach me because every single day <laughs> I try and learn something <laughs> vernac and I struggle, especially with the clicking and then. Okay, this is an okay one. Isina Muvalia Bugwa. <laughs> I'm sure there was Mubango. <laughs> I love Mubango. <laughs> Try that again with me. Isina Muva. Isina Muva. Liabugwa. Liabugwa. That basically means... That you didn't click in that. No, I gave no, you an get, easy no, one. No, man, don't give me easy. <sighs> okay, um, nothing's coming up right now. Oh, come on. Uh, How do you throw us a word? Yeah, <laughs> help me out. Ikoko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's he is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, what did the previous, what does that mean, that, that sentence? That, that basically means, let them perform, let yeah. them floss all they want, and then there will come your time where you go last, where everyone else will watch, and they'll <laughs> have to stand and applaud you. I feel like this is my moment right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is my favorite thing that you've just taught me about Zulu. The word, <laughs> what does that mean? Well, you see, it starts off like this. And <laughs> like the sentence is that long. Absolutely. The word is that That's long. That's a for you. It, it will go in. It will go How in. easy is it to learn a language, like as quickly as what you did, basically? And why would you encourage other people to do so? Because I want to learn. Well, I, I was born Zulu, so I knew the language. I was just yeah. not used to speaking it as much. Yeah. So it's very, very important. I'd encourage everyone to know your mother tongue. Yeah. And, and make sure that you encourage your kids to know it because it's what really, really points to your identity. Yeah, exactly. I, I really think so. And learning other languages will also make you very viable and yeah. give you such an advantage when you li liaise with other people. I know a little bit of Afrikaans, yeah. you know, of English, of course. You're and I think what's command. really good about Akosi FM as well is that you guys speak a pure tongue. Mm. You don't mix it up too much, yeah. which I think is also a good way to learn. Like. By listening, then you'll learn. Well, I mean, you'd have to have a foundation. Like yes, a I think we're like 95% Isi Zulu on this new show that we're doing, 12 to 3 Cafe, Sel Beyonce With Sel and Beyonce. I. Yes. We had him in the, on the show, on, the, on one of the cookalongs. Amazing. If I'm he's upstairs. not watching, <laughs> ah, that picture trended. Sel Beyonce, we love you. <laughs> oh, that okay, picture so trended. Doesn't that face just say, I deserve it? Oh, no, when totally. When I was picking him up. <laughs> <laughs> So, so tell me a bit about the show. It must be so fun. So we've earned ourselves a, a reputation with our listeners to yeah. be a private school show because we, we're culture <laughs> shock. So how the format is, and intentionally yeah. from management, is that they want us to sound urban. They want us to be a little bit more, skr, skr, you know, a little bit <laughs> young and young at heart yeah. to try and reach a market that Ukozi hasn't necessarily targeted and as are much you guys in the killing past. It. Thank you so much. I believe we are. Well done. I'm so, so <laughs> proud of you. It's such a joy to have you in the last. Thank you. Thank you so much and well done on all of your Thank achievements. You, so much. you definitely deserve it. I appreciate it. it. <laughs>